hi everybody here i am going to show you how to do structural analysis for this simple structure it is a p strophe portal frame which is pinned at support a and h as well the member cd and def are pinned at the ridge we can see it here the pin there are a lot of loads are shown here which are acting on bars and some are acting on the nodes so our target is to determine the support reactions which are at a and h as well we have to determine the value for axial load shear force and bending moments which will be represented as a diagram so let's start from the scratch click on this 2d design remove the previous one what we had now we are at the right positions to start click on geometry axis definitions now we can start so what's the things we need now to see it is what are the dimensions shown in x axis and z axis so here in x axis i mean x direction it is 433 three. let's do that fast 433 three. 4 add it then 3 it is twice so put here repetitions add it you are done go for z change this here numbering to alphabets what it says 1 meter 5 meters on the left right hand side total is 6 so if we take 1 meter again 5 meter so it will cover both sides as well additionally we have to take 2 so what to do here first 1 this is 1 then here 5 add it as well i have said there will be 2 meter on top of this so we have to add here 2 meters add it we are done apply close now we have to start with clicking on bars here column beams whatever it will not make any difference the reason is we are taking bars but we will not consider the self weight of bars so what you will do here oh, another important things i forgot to mention here that these two supports are at a distance of one meter vertically look at one meter this is up and down so let's start here from here we can continue to do that or we click here and then if we click drag so we can continue from here again got it then another point then we can reach up to the bottom supports so we are done now we have to provide the support pin supports click here paint click here paint because it is pin support so close this now here we need pin also for this pin we have to go to geometry go for releases pinned one end because we need for these two bars only here that is why one end so what it looks like like this and pin one end so what you will do click here we got the pin again click here we got the pin so we are done 
now we have to apply the loads so let's select load types say dead load selection is done now go for putting the loads first we'll put the loads on bars what is that this bar this bar horizontal force will provide first so 12 and 8 it is on the bars but 8 and 5 it is on the nodes so let's do that so what you will do we will go bar here on x axis say we provide 12 here there will be nothing so 12 but this 12 it will act at the midpoint this is 5 meters so it will be here 2.5 2.5 make sure this is absolute this is global 12 add it click here you got the loads again we go for here in st12 we provide 8 but here also it will be working at the middle but this height is 6 meters so it will be here 3 meters click here and press so we got it now we will apply on nodes so what is that node means 8 and 5 so we have to go here nodes 8 and 5 so this will be 8 at nodes here there will be nothing add it exactly at this node we got it again nodes but this will be 5 add it apply here we got it now we are going to see this 15 25 and 20 so let's do that at nodes 15 25 so it will be also at node but it will not be on x axis it will be on z axis and minus 15 because load is working at load is acting at down but z axis is vertical arrow is vertically so we have to put negative so this is the point need to know so here if we click we got it then again notes here i will do say 25 add it apply here done now again go here put it 20 add it and click here so we got these three so we are done for the nodal force now we have to apply these bar forces 35 and 12 kilonewton per meter so these 35 in this regard one important things we have to understand that this is it looks horizontally it is 3 meter 3 meter at the center but along the bars we have to understand or we have to know this what is the distance along this so what you will do we'll find the length of this by pythagoras theorem we know six meter then two meters so a square of these two adding this square root we will get 6.3 to something divided by two it will be 3.1622 so we have to apply that distance so 35 
so let's start here we'll go for the bars for this and here say x axis there will be nothing then here we have to apply say minus 35 and here 3.162277 because I used calculator so I put all the decimals what I got in calculator so 3.162277 so minus 35 it will be working vertically down so opposite of this z direction so minus and this is the distance from here to here along the members and make sure this is global this is absolute so add it click on the bar you got the loads done now let's go for checking this 12 kilonewton per meters so what to do with this 12 kilonewtons per meter this is the load here 12 kilonewton per meter make sure it is global and it will be projected projected loads so what to do this i click here on projected loads and minus 12 add it then you apply here so you got the loads we are done now we can see all the loads all so we are okay now as I told at the starting that I don't want this self weight of all the bars so what I'll do go for loads load table remove this self weight click here remove it we are done so it's okay now click here it is done now what to do with this here we can go right now to analysis so what you will do go for analysis press escape you got it so close this so we have all the results go for results click on diagram for this first you check the reactions and make sure parameter is with the text and in the reactions choose effects fz diagram description so everything you got apply now you got it so you got the value now if we compare with the results what we have now so what we'll get here look at this compare 4.3 4.32 64.07 here exactly 64.07 what about the this one 37.32 37.30 what about fz vertical 78.93 we got 78.93 exact value we got now let's go for say moment my before i am removing this it is better so we don't want a lot of values so now we got the moment diagram you see here moment diagram even i can see moment diagram with this say if i go for this which one Mm. see here 
parameters go for field you will see that now we can compare our results what we have look at 51.62 51.50 here it is say 5.13 they are not showing here anything 47.13 where it is 47.47 here very close 199.95 here it is 199.80 so moment diagram it is okay so what you can go now we can go for say axial force so i am removing this moment going for axial force so let's check that we got the axial force also so if we go here what you will get look at 43.7 43.7 this is 64.07 64.07 it is like reaction 64.07 but here i am sure this is writing mistake because by seeing the diagram it looks like it is of course far bigger than this 64.07 here writing mistake this is actually 78 point something by seeing diagram we understand this by seeing diagram we understand these points so what we are finding here so here if you look at you see here it is actually 78.93 and this is correct here it is writing mistake so let's go for so axial force already we checked and it is perfect so let's go for removing axial we will go for the shear force put here check the shear force diagram and compare it with the value what it is here look at 33 here 33 16 16 here 9.92 here 9.91 here 48.13 here 48.22 so very very close as well here 29.3 29.3 here 37.3 here 37.32 so we are done with this i think everything is perfect our results it is matching with the result what is in the books so i think that's all for this structures